welcome back to Spotlight. Uh, just for a quick uh, update, uh, we know that um, Bongo is still missing. His uh, given name is Deshaun Bryan. Deshaun Bryan, uh, also known as Bongo. Uh, we're still searching for him. We hope that uh, you know, we find him and he's safe and well. We are going to go directly to our Mr. and Mrs. Junior pageant. I have with me the coordinator of the Mr. and Miss Junior DVI pageant, Lena Thomas. Welcome to Spotlight. Good to see you. Thank you for having us again. Yeah, well, I thought you were running. <laughs> I, yeah. I wish I you're was. So, you're so sharp. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're running. And of course, the reigning Miss Junior BBI, right? I'm getting this. I'm saying this right. Miss yes. Junior BBI. Mr. Ms. and Miss. Miss Junior BBI. Yes. Uh, DJ Moya. Hi. DJ Moya Smith. Welcome to Spotlight and Thank Mr. You. Shamar Tripp. Hi, good evening. Yes. So, y'all had a good rain? Yes. Amazing. It was a uh, yeah. good one. So, okay, let's start with you, uh, DJ Moya. What, 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 what was it like? Um, it was short, but I have a good time. I enjoy spending time with the contestants. I got to participate in St. Thomas Parade. Mm -hmm. So it has been good so far. And that's it? Did, did you have to fulfill some kind of platform, do community service? No. I didn't have enough time to do that as yet. So the whole year, you just hang out and have a good time? <laughs> no. Okay, tell me. Okay, I recently got the crown, mm -hmm. so... My reign was very short, a couple months. I'm a couple months into my reign, so there's, it, there wasn't much to do. What did she say? <laughs> the, the actual queen mm -hmm. um, for 2016, she wasn't able to fulfill her duties for oh, the entire yeah, year. That's right, that's yeah. right. that's, so that's Deja Moya, um, who was actually the second runner, because the first runner um, was not able to um, take over the crown, so then it fell on Dijamoya's head, and she has worn it um, rather well from then until now. It's just been a few months, oh, but okay. um, she has served exceptionally well, and we're proud of her. Thank you. That's, that's, that's good. That's good. And what about you, uh, Shema? How, how, how was your reign? It was good. Um, a very self-gratifying year for me. Um, I got to do a lot of things, got a lot of respect from people I respected, you know. So it's been a really good year. I touched a lot of lives, got a deal um, with my platform. You know, I went away with some kids from the drama school, the drama committee at the Amosau High School. Yeah. It was a great experience. Got Where to, did you go? Uh, we went to Trinidad. We did a drama festival in Trinidad, and we're actually going again this year. Um, so you did performance there? Yeah, performance. Mm -hmm. They did well. We came back with quite a few awards. Um, Miss Harris is doing a great job with those guys down there. So, yeah, I got a lot of... You got a lot of exposure? Yeah. A lot. on the modeling scene? <laughs> yes, I did some modeling for um, Miss Andrea Wilson. She dropped her uh, new swimwear line, and it's an amazing line, and I really like it. Yeah, I got, got my suit. Yeah. <laughs> I got to fit into it. <laughs> <laughs> Summer's here, so, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. yeah. No, that's great. So everything is working well. The new transition, this is what, your second? This is our second with the, with the guys. Yeah, with the Mr. Added. The Mr. Added. Yes. And the third year, uh, how, how many years since you changed from the East End? Three Ambro? years. Three, three years. years. Yes, and the name has working? changed. How wonderfully, is wonderfully. We are um, quite in sync with the, um, this BVI pageant and in line with what they're doing so you find that our contestants um, are receiving a lot of exposure um, you have different events where the two sets of contestants um, are expected to attend and that helps these younger contestants to I guess learn more about pageantry because they're kind of in line with the Miss B actual Miss BVI pageant and their portfolio. So it has, it has been going well. So is it going to be a stepping stone, or uh, say like a, a feeder pageant for the Miss BBI? Well, we hope so. It's not an automatic thing, but we hope that all contestants in a few years would be mature enough to do the Miss BVI um, pageant. So, so this is the age group for the... Um, for our the show, it's 17 to 21. And Miss BVI is... Um, I believe this is, is probably 21. I'm not sure oh, what, okay. the, what the end is, probably 25. Okay. 
Okay. So you're going to run for um, Ms. BBI? Hopefully you, in a couple yeah? of years when I'm ready. When you're, okay, that's good. And uh, what are the criteria for, um, for running for the Ms. Junior? You have to have um, a certain level of education, you have to no, speak no. properly, good looking. Um, <laughs> I, at this point, I don't think that we have a set criteria. Mm -hmm. um, we offer the young ladies an opportunity to apply, and the committee would review the applications. Obviously, you must be of good character. Um, must not have had children. Um, and that's, that's pretty much it. Because some of the contestants are actually of school age. Um, one contestant this year is actually still in high school. Um, so there's not really a set criteria um, because, like I said, some of them are still school aged. Okay. So where? Uh, tell me where the pageant is going to be. What date is going to be on? And All right. what this time? year, our pageant is set for Saturday, July the 29th. Mm -hmm. We have outgrown the um, HLS Auditorium, really? which is where we've held it for the past years. A wonderful venue, yes. um, but the show, I think especially that it's, it's now that it has been renamed, we find that we, we do get a lot of community support. Last year, we were full to capacity. Persons had to stand. So this so year, you got more prestige. perhaps, <laughs> and that's a good thing. Yes, so good. this year, we have decided to um, take it when into town. Um, it used to be Miss East End, and we're sorry that we have to come from the East. But for space um, to accommodate more persons and for people to be more comfortable, we, uh, we will go at the Cultural Center, so Rupert Brightgrove Hall this year. And so the show will be on Saturday the 29th of July. Mm -hmm. We start at 8 o'clock sharp. Okay, so you mm -hmm. sound like you're outgoing your community. Yeah. So. <laughs> Pretty that's much, not, pretty happy. much, <laughs> pretty much. But we're, we're happy for the community support. Mm -hmm. And um, we're moving from the east, but still the eastern show, I think. Um, I think we'd be more comfortable there. Okay. And so what can we expect uh, this year in terms of segments and entertainment? Um, and the usual introduction. We have swimwear, talent, the well-liked black and white segment, which mm -hmm. is always a oh, hit. Yes. Yes. The Very evening way and of course the question and answer. And that happens for um, both the male contestants and the female contestants. The question and answer uh, is on the stage? Is on the stage mm -hmm. impromptu. Impr imp okay. Yes. And um, not much entertainment because this year we have four girls and we have um, two boys. So that's a bit of contestants to get through for the evening. And so we have a talent? Yes, and quite yeah. a few segments. So we try to limit the entertainment so that we keep the show flowing. The entertainment is the actual um, performance. The contestants. The contestants. Yes, mm -hmm. and this year we're going to have our major act will be the Two Smooth Band. And those guys always do a wonderful job. Always do a wonderful job. Always. So they will be on stage throughout the night for entertainment. The contestants will keep the show going. We may have um, one or two um, short pieces, but for the most part, it will be the band who will be playing throughout any intermissions, any breaks. And what, are the, what prizes are you giving up? What are you enticing the young people? This the year answer? we have an education grant. The education grant? Education grant. So what is, what is that grant? Um, well, that grant will come from the, the Ministry of Education. Is it two years in college? Um, um, we have not locked that in as mm -hmm. yet. Um, but there would be a grant for the winner, and we have a number of other exciting prizes. We have cash, we have trips, and we have um, a number of electronic devices. So, um, interesting, interesting prizes. And uh, you say you have a theme? Um, yes, Deja Moya will tell us what the theme is. The theme. The theme, yes. Culture glamour. <laughs> <laughs> the Culture theme. I knew just what I, why I did that. <laughs> Shama will help us with the theme. Yes. Culture sure. glamour and intelligence on the theme for Mr. and Ms. Junior BVI 2017. There you Culture go. Culture glamour and intelligence, intelligence to be seen from Mr. and Ms. Junior BVI 2017. That's right. Yes. Okay, that's cool. I can see how intelligent they are. Okay. <laughs> so that's our theme this year. Okay. Um, and the show is building up to be a very exciting one. 
these young ladies, these young people are ready and the committee we're excited. We, we kind of have a hands off, the chaperones are in charge. Um, we have laid down our ground rules and we expect them to be followed. And as usual, um, our show I'm sure this year will be like no other. Okay. And can we afford to come? Of course. <laughs> of course. Our tickets this year um, are $25 advance and 30 at the door. We have VIP this year and those tickets are $50. Um, children tickets are $15 and that is that those tickets are for children um, under the age of 12. Okay. Well, um, you've taken up too much time. I know. <laughs> I think they want to see the, the beautiful contestant. Yes. So well, thank you for stopping by. Okay. And of course, we're looking forward to the show. So we're going to get right to the contestants right after these words. Thank you sponsors. for having us. Thank yes. you. All the thank best. You. Good. We'll keep it locked right here in the spotlight. Spotlight is brought to you by Tortola Concrete Limited and CTL Home Center. The best products for the lowest prices, period. The nice thing about the National Bank is that they are actually true to their concept of being a national bank in terms of understanding the needs of all islands. They understood what we needed at New Horizon Ferry Services in expanding our offerings to improve shipping across our island. Because we have been in this business now for many years and established a good relationship with the bank, they saw our track record and they understood what we needed to expand our business and together we have formed a great partnership that is helping our business to grow. Paradise means being able to expand our business at the right time. National Bank of the Virgin Islands, the official bank of paradise. The newly renovated Village Key Deli hosts a new spacious air-conditioned seating area with free Wi-Fi to help you fully enjoy the tasty expanded menu. From fresh salads, sandwiches and wraps, if you're counting the calories but still want something tasty with fresh healthy ingredients, pick one of the many wraps and salads at Village Key Deli or even create your own. Village Key Deli also provides catering services for any function. Conveniently located in the heart of Rotown, make a fresh healthy choice and stop by Village Key Deli. Enjoy the new seating area or call in your order at 494-2771 extension 4. Open from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. Village Key Deli. Serving the community for over 25 years, Tortola Concrete Limited is the leading producer of concrete products in the BVI. With grades of 3,000 to 5,000 PSI, Tortola Concrete ready mix quality unmatched in the industry and we can mix to your specifications. Our aggregates are clean through our unique washing process for our smooth clean mix and our special chilling process makes our concrete plant resistant. Tortola Concrete Limited is the concrete company for all your quality concrete products. Gravel, road base, face stone, boulders, armor rock, coarse sand, terrace, and the cleanest, strongest, crack resistant, ready mix concrete. Tortola Concrete Batch Plan serve you Monday to Saturday, 7 a.m. until the last load. Our knowledgeable, effective staff gives you free estimate and delivers on time to any location. Contact Tortola Concrete at 494-3259, Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Conveniently located in Parkwood Pond near the BDI Electricity Plant. At Tortola Concrete Limited, the strength is in the mix. Welcome to Spotlight. 
Thank you. Thank you. You all look very nice. I like your um, your attire. Thank nice you. <laughs> nice floral print. You all look nice. You know the drill, right? You introduce yourself. You look into the camera. Introduce yourself, and you invite um, persons to come out. You know, date, place, time. Yes. Contestant number one. From magical words and pistol dust, I am your contestant number one, Khadija Kira Liburd. Come out at the Sarupa Brankler Hall, 8 p.m. sharp, the 29th of July, 2017. Okay, and you're contestant number three because contestant number two uh, couldn't be here tonight. Yes. And her name is Miss Industrious. What's her first name? Rosa. Rosa, Rosa Industrious, yes. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am your contestant, number three, Kenya Akoya Matthews. Walk with me and you might see a taste of culture and glamour for intelligence to be seen for Mr. and Miss Junior BVI 2017. Okay, and Miss contestant number four, Good night, BVI. I am Ananda Hodge, your ambassadorial candidate number four in this year's Mr. and Miss Junior British Virgin Islands pageant 2017. My crown is not invisible. On July 29th, I am going to make you see it, feel it, and remember it. Thank you. What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's, that's good. And I have to ask, you know, how is it that you get motivated to come out and present yourself to the public in such a way uh, to be criticized and looked at and you know admired or you know despised. What motivates you to and give you the courage to do that? Well, Khadija? well, I always had an interest in a pedantry, mm -hmm. and when Miss Thomas called me, I said yes. That's my opportunity. Really? Yes. You wanted to put, uh, to participate in a beauty pageant? Yes. Oh, that's some good. I always had an interest. Okay. What about you, Tanya? Well, me, my last year reign was being in like, I don't know, in a shell of shyness. Your last year reign? Yes. Meaning that I participated already, but I didn't fulfill, so I think I could handle it this year. Okay, so tell me about that. Like you, you got me mixed up. But you have been intrigued. No. You won? No, no, I didn't want. Uh, but participate. Sorry. You participated in last year's pageant? Yeah. Okay. I'm with the one that didn't came last year because my exam. Oh, oh, oh that's right. Yes. You were the one that uh, didn't show. Okay, yeah. I see. Okay. So, so, and so you didn't win, so you're, going, you're trying again. This is your second attempt yes. at the Miss Junior pageant. No, yes. I got you. I want to slow you down with this. <laughs> I want to relax for a little bit. That's just a joke. Yes. All right, Adana. Ananda. Ananda. I know I'm going to mix Well, up. as Kadeja say, it was always something that I wanted to do, but I was always shy, and I think that this year I decided to run to build myself confidence and try to break out of my shell, basically. So it inspired me to run to boost my self confidence. I'm, I'm beginning not to believe y'all. Why? <laughs> Why? Because. <laughs> Everybody say that every year. Every year, you ask the same question. What motivates you? And it's always about self-confidence and self-esteem that you need to have built. I mean, you are really well, family that and shy. friends as well. You are really yes. that shy. That yes. you we are that shy. So you have it. So, <laughs> so, so this is like pushing the envelope for you. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Really. Okay. And I, I, I guess that's that's um, that's a, a worthwhile endeavor. So, are you feeling with the training and color yes, TV? Yes, of course. Go, yes, that, that is that working. That is working? Yes. yes. Y'all feel more comfortable? Yes. Y'all yeah, are nervous? No, no, that shyness in a dream. That's what? It's in the dream. The shyness. Oh, the, sh the shyness in the dream? Yeah. You wash it up? Yeah. <laughs> so, you're in, you're out of high school, you're going no, to college? No, I'm in the last grade of high school now. Just got promoted to the 12th grade, so next year I'll be finished with school. Okay. <laughs> And I'm in night school. You in? Night school. Oh, you're going to night school? Yes. Okay. And you? I work at Scotiabank. So you graduated from high school? Yes, years ago. Seriously? <laughs> yes, years ago. You don't look that old. <laughs> look 13. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what are, you, what are your goals? You're working at Scotiabank. What, what, what you, where you see yourself in the future? 
the future, I see myself um, um, taking over a family business mm -hmm. that my family has in real what estate. Kind of business, what kind of business is it? Real estate. Real estate. Yes. Okay. So, in a couple of years, I'll be taking over the business. So how are you going to take over the business if you ain't getting no experience now? Um, I went to college, so I mean, I studied business. Okay. So with that experience, I can, I think I can handle myself. You can handle yourself. Yes. Okay. You say so. <laughs> what about you, um, Kenya? What was your goal? What will you see yourself in the future? Well, I more like want to become an entrepreneur in culinary arts have my own business, maybe a bakery. Okay, yeah. so you bake now? And most likely, almost every section in culinary arts, because I could make fruit salads and platters as well. So you, 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 you study in the culinary arts? Yes, been there, done there. Oh, been there, done there. Like, and you graduated? Yes, from, from the where? technical... The Virginia School of Technical Studies? The Marina Center. The Marine yes. Center up at um, yes, opposite HSC. the college, yeah. Okay. And so you could bake. Yes. You sure? And you we're more into the making fruits part because I like to carve. Oh, um, Later, I'm, the hands I'm on trying part. to get a hand on this thing. Yeah. Yeah, you are me. You, it's the culinary ads, but you're not baking. You're mm. doing. You 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 you. you Present you into more into presentation yes. of salads. Yes, I would like to learn the breaking part though. Like fruit salads, like how they're making boards and yes. Like, okay, all right. No, okay. <laughs> and maybe an animal like a dog, or okay. that kind of stuff. So you want to be in the culinary ads and, field, yes, and, and making good looking presentations yes. of your dishes and the things that you create. I might make a juenka. <laughs> yeah, make a little juenka. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what about you? An Ananda. Ananda. What about you? What, what's what you think? Um, my goal is to become a dentist. That's a career goal that I want to pursue. So okay. after I'm finished with high school, I tend to go to college to study to be a dentist. To study dentistry. Dentistry, yes. Right. That's, uh, that's cool. Any issues? You know, you're all young people. And I don't know if you want to tell your ages, but there are young people. And there's a lot going on in the, in the Virgin Islands. Yes. Any issues uh, there that you had? I mean, issues that you care a lot about? Are you supposed to have a platform? Yes. yes. We're supposed to, but... You're supposed, supposed to, but you don't have one. Supposed You're supposed, supposed to. to, but you don't have a platform. <laughs> Supporting the youth. Supporting? Yeah. Okay, so let me, let me hear from uh, Adan. Ananda. 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 <laughs> Uh, what, what's my issue there to your heart? The biggest issue to my heart that is going on right now is the domestic violence that's happening a lot in the BBI. Mm -hmm. So it troubles me and... What do you think is causing it? Um, a lot of domestic violence. Related gangs. Is yeah. What? Related gangs. In the U. Related? Like said related gangs. Gang. Related gangs. Gang. 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 Like, domestic violence? No. Yeah. I mean like... Not domestic. <laughs> I mean relationships. Relationship yeah. Oh, you mean the, like, you're like, talking about violence generally in the community? Yes. yes. Okay, that's, yeah. that's, that's, what they, that's there to your head. Yeah, that's there to yeah. my head. Okay. So domestic violence is there to your head. Yes. Violence generally yeah, in the community is, is, is there to your head. And I could say the same. Um, the both of them are there to your head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait. Can you do Violence on a whole. Yes. Violence on a whole. <laughs> okay, so violence. violence on a whole. So you are concerned yeah. about violence. Violence, yes. yeah. That's the, the major issue in the community. Yes. And what is it that you're afraid that does it does it give you a sense of insecurity? What what is where your concern? Where does your concern come from? Anyone? Um, my concern comes from um, the younger generation um, because they are growing up into the violence. So I think there's not much participation at home or in the community. We don't do much as a community. You, know, so you think we're going to breed more and more yes. uh, children that engage in violence? Yes. I mean, yes, yes, it takes a community to yes. raise a child. child. So, 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 so people ain't doing a good job. 
I mean, I wouldn't say well, like, it does are, start from home because they are, but a little yes. bit more can be yes, done. more can be done. They have help and stuff. Right. Then at school, go ahead. Like for a parent, it takes them to raise a child and encourage a child, let them to do right and speak with them, encourage them. But when they get out there in the wall, you have to think twice because the companies and the, the kind of friends and the the, pressure, yeah, yeah, around strong. them when they go to school. So that's a different ball game towards home. Okay, so yeah. you, you teach one thing in the home, but when you get yeah, the environment, yeah, you have so to it's like to fight against them. Yeah, they listen to pressure. two people, but so you yeah. kind of really don't know what to do. Okay, so we not the the, the 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 training from home is not strong enough. No, to overcome the pressure in society. No. And that's yeah. where a guidance counselor would come in uh -huh. for the school. Okay. Um, any uh, any contributions to the community, social contributions, service contributions, you are engaged in any any you know social activity. Social. You know, not making a really contribution. You know, know. giving yes. back, cleaning up Give the community, no. yeah. start mentoring yeah. a kid. I huh? used to. I used yeah. to. But now that you have become beauty queens, you didn't get the back. I saw out okay. there like the trying stuff. to help. <laughs> <laughs> With like <laughs> homework and stuff like that. You have like, the kids with homework. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, that's that's. I think I need more of that. Okay. All right. Who what inspires you? you? I would say my, my mom. Your mom. My aunt. Your aunt. My grandma. Your grandma. Really? Why your grandma inspired you? Well, she basically was like mom and dad okay. and everything. Is she still alive? Yes. Okay. Hi, grandma. Okay. So she sounds like crazy. <laughs> yes. Okay. Cool. And you Same thing. My aunt raised me from. I was nine months and. Oh, that's yeah. interesting. Okay, cool. And you? My mom. Your mom. Being raised in a single parent home, mm -hmm. she has motivated me to. Like, she's my role model basically because she's independent and it teaches me that, like, in the no. future, I can be like. Oh, okay, now let's get to the tough stuff. Oh, gosh. Um, what are we celebrating? What is this? What, 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 how does this pageant fit in to what are we celebrating? No, not that. No, I don't want to ask you that. What are we celebrating? What are we celebrating? What is this, this whole um, month of activities, June, a uh, few weeks of activities? Emancipation. Freedom and emancipation. Yes. Emancipation from what? Slavery. Okay, so that's what we. Uh, Anybody know? We sound like a choir. Huh? We sound like a choir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Chorus here. Emancipation from slavery. Uh, did you, do y'all know when the slave trade started? I don't know. 1970. Way back. Way back. It's more than, I think it's more than that. Okay, 16, 16, 1609. Oh, okay. Oh. It was in the beginning of the slave trade. You know, what, you know what country started the slave trade? Africa. Huh? Africa. Well, that's where, that's where persons, that's where they took the persons from and turned them into slaves. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And from Africa. But um, the first country that they engaged in the slave trade was Portugal. Oh, okay. Okay. Do you know what country was the biggest slave trading company? Mm. Is this a real tough stuff for you? <laughs> Because you see, if you're celebrating, these we are things, these are things normal, that these yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 I strongly agree. But, but, but I'll give you a hint. As in the Caribbean? What, the, the, the country, the, 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 the European country that was the biggest slave trade in con, con, the, 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 the country that involved in, sla in, 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 in slavery and slave trade and human trafficking uh, on, the, on the, the, the biggest scale. What country colonized the BBI? England? Right. Okay. So, so what country oh, was the biggest? What, what country is the biggest? England! <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Yes. You, you, you got it. Okay. Uh, if you, can you give me an example of uh, what life on the plantation must have been like? 
Must have horrible. Rough. Hard. Horrible. Bad. Like we was beaten, take advantage of. Yeah. Okay. Very Tied bad. up, killed. Okay, that's good. That's a good answer. Uh, can you identify in the society right now uh, a psychological result of the plantation era? So something that we are, something you are all doing. In, in, as, as, as the people of African descent that, that came about because we were descendants of, 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 of slaves. Work. Well, a, a, psychological, um, uh, a psychological experience, something that we, we desire to do um, because we come out of that, 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 our ancestors came out of that period of time. A desire to strive harder. A desire to strive harder? Yeah. Okay. That's good. Yeah, for success. For my ancestors. Alright, okay, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it at that. But you know, but that's a difficult question to to, to answer. And so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna take that off of the school. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it was nice talking to you. We gotta go. Because Man, <laughs> five more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it was nice talking to you. We gotta go. Because we have the um, the guys that uh, give these tough questions too. They could wait till tomorrow. They are just over there googling. They are waiting for us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Leave us for last. You should have left me for last. Yes. Yeah, you had just a good. They were there googling. Right now. <laughs> but um, before we go, we gotta make one last um, pitch to, uh, to encourage people All right. to come to come down and. Um, any one of us or all of us have to do this. Yeah, you can do the whole thing over. <laughs> yeah. I am your contestant number one, Khadija Kira Liburd. Come out on July 29, 2017 at the Surupa Brightcliffe Hall. Kenya, you go. Once again, I am your contestant number three, Kenya Akoya Matthews. Vying for the prestigious title of Miss Junior BVI 2016. See you there. What should I say? Contestant <laughs> number four. I am Ananda Hodge, your contestant number four in this year's Mr. and Miss Junior Bridge Virgin Islands Pageant 2017. Inviting you on July 29th at the Sir Rupert Brightcliffe Hall at 8 p.m. sharp. See you there. Great. It was uh, good talking to you and all the best. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you so much. <laughs> Enjoy yeah. your night. <laughs> yes, I'm going to take a break forward from our sponsors and come back. We're going to come back with the contestants for the Mr. <laughs> Junior BBI pageant. Keep it locked in spotlight. Spotlight is brought to you by Ocean Conversion BBI Limited and BBI Tourist Board. We are one BBI. Facebook, Instagram, you name it, I have it. I use it for my internet, Skype, WhatsApp, YouTube, everything. I can upload photos, share files, have meetings. The data is ridiculously fast. And when I switch to this LTE, wow, the speed is incredible. Unlimited, unlimited, unlimited! I don't have to go. How much data do I have? It's there! The other networks. I could WhatsApp on this one. I absolutely love it. You have to get it, BVI. Thank you, CCT.
The nice thing about the National Bank is that they are actually true to their concept of being a national bank in terms of understanding the needs of all islands. They understood what we needed at New Horizon Ferry Services in expanding our offerings to improve shipping across our island. Because we have been in this business now for many years and established a good relationship with the bank, they saw our track record and they understood what we needed to expand our business. And together, we have formed a great partnership that is helping our business to grow. Paradise means being able to expand our business at the right time. National Bank of the Virgin Islands, the official bank of paradise. Spotlight where you got to look at the young ladies uh, that's going to be vying for the prestigious title of Miss Junior BBI. And so I'm hoping to look at Facebook. When we get on Facebook, we'll find out what you all think about the young ladies and if you can pick, see if you can pick the winner. That's going to be an interesting uh, decision. But well, we're here with the two young men um, vying for the, the title of Mr. Junior BBI. Yes, yes. Welcome to the Spotlight. You look alive, guys. <laughs> Come on, what's up? You look yeah. like you're sleeping already. No. No? You're mm -hmm. tired? There's a lot of work? Yeah, it's a lot of work. Lot of, I mean, what kind of work? The training? Training, memory, just practicing every day. Yeah. So you, you, um, how y'all feel uh, having these all these appearances? Is, 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 you, you try to build your self-esteem too? No. Mm. No, <laughs> no, I mean, I'm a singer with the razor blade, so okay. stage is everything I do. Okay. And what about you? Uh, you are Shamoy. Shamoy. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? No, my self-esteem is already high. Yeah. Yes. You look kind of like resolved. You look like <laughs> quiet. You don't look like... A, Kind of person who looks can be deceiving. But now we can. Now you look like you're saying something. Because you know, I was, you know, uh, I always wonder about guys who, well, not wonder to not any great extent, but usually it's girls that are pageants, mm -hmm. and and I'm wondering like, what make guys want to be in, in pageant? Is it, I mean, is it that you feel a need to be seen, or? I mean, what, what, where, where, that, where does that come from as a, as a young man to want to be out in the public and, you know, presenting yourself as somebody who is uh, handsome, somebody who's intelligent, somebody who's got it going on, you know, usually, right, am I wrong? Usually yeah. guys don't really want to. So where, where's that coming from? Okay, my opinion on it is, yes, there's a stigma that um, males don't really do pageantry. Mm -hmm. However, breaking that stigma, you get to see that pageantry is not about females, it's about presenting yourself and presenting the true you to the public. And I'm doing it because I want to be a public image and I want to basically show young men that they could be more than the stigma that they're not doing anything in the community. Um, so this is just a start for mentoring young men in the community, in my opinion. Okay. Well, what you show my well, I did this to show the BBI that there are still good men, young men out there. And I also did it because my aunt, Dwinnell Davis, she did Miss Fifth Farm. I did Miss and Miss Fifth Farm. She did Miss Eastern Longrock, and now I'm doing Mr. Junior BBI. And she was my role model, and I looked up to her, so that's why I do it. Okay. And it's not what you call, and it's, it's, what, it's not what you call, it's what you answer to. Mm -hmm. So, some people told me that, you know, doing this is girly and what's not, but a woman could never be considered a man, and a man considered to be a woman. It is called Mr. and Miss Junior BBI. So okay. I'm doing it for that reason. So what, um, so y'all you, prepare in, in what way? I mean, to, what, what y'all what gonna bring to the pageant? Because it's, it's, it's a totally separate thing. Uh, are you gonna do the similar segments like what the young ladies are going to do? Same exact Same segments. segments. Hmm? Swimwear, black and white affair. Introduction, talent, evening wear, and question and answer. 
Okay. And of course, you're going to sing. No, you have to come to the show and see that. <laughs> you, you, you catch me? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's good. But, um, you know, we, we have a, a lot of issues not with young men. And, uh, and I think it's good that you have young men who show an oath and who re represent a positive image. Uh, what are some of the issues that uh, in the community that you're concerned about as a young man? Um, I know the girls already covered crime and domestic violence, but something that is dear to my heart is um, peer pressure. Because mm -hmm. I know a lot of young men and young ladies, especially in the high school, they are experiencing heavy peer pressure. And I've seen it, seen the evidence on some of their arms, like they self-cut and things like that. So I want to bring awareness to that and also help them better themselves. I want to, as I said up before, I want to start a mentoring program. So I want to work along these young people to get them back in the right state of mind. Okay, we, oh, the downhill cutting thing is uh, amazing to me. Cause right. I never <laughs> believe, I see that on television, but I never believe that we had that hand in the, in the BBI. Yes, uh, Shamari, what? <clears throat> What are some of the issues that you, you think about and, and you, know, you would like to see change in the community? I would have to see the level of disrespect that children have for their parents. Mm -hmm. I think parents would like to be their, they want to be their children's friends, and you should be a children's friends, but there's a time where you need to show the level of respect, and there is a, you need to know when to draw the line. Yes, they are your children, but they need to show respect. I am the parent, I got you, you didn't get me. So you need to show some respect for me because I am a parent. But you, 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 that's interesting. And we always say that uh, everything should start at the home. Mm -hmm. But and perhaps you, you come from a, 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 a good home. Most definitely. The most definitely, <laughs> right? But I have noticed that there are lots of parents who don't know how to raise children to get that respect. And, and sometimes it does awk me to hear people say, especially politicians, say that uh, we need to train the children from home when the parents don't really know. The parents aren't trained themselves. How, uh, uh, I was, was going to add to that. Um, sometimes is that the students are raised well at home um, they go to school and sometimes if they see that disconnect with the parents and the teachers, they then misbehave and find a way to basically tell the parents one story, tell the teacher the next story, and basically manipulate the two. And then that way they get away with a lot of stuff at school or at home because so yeah, they, they have yeah, the manipulation. Yeah, 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 break. So they, uh, yeah, I mean, that manipulative power. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as the generations come through, they get more clever and clever every year, so. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, so what's your view on, 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 on what he's saying about uh, the, 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 the peer pressure? Do, do you believe that uh, peer pressure, negative peer pressure, always have to win out over positive peer pressure? Because when we say peer pressure, I don't see it as a subjective thing. I see peer pressure as an objective thing. And you can have negative peer pressure, and you can have positive peer pressure. But we always seem to give peer pressure connotation as if it's negative. So when you say peer pressure, it means that you're going to follow the kids that's doing bad things, as opposed to the kids following you who's doing good things. But how, what, I mean, what's your perspective? Yes, children, they... In, at home, they are one way, they are angels in front of their parents and then when they go out in the community, they get influenced by peer pressure and they just turn into monsters. They, they, they turn into monsters? Yes. Well, there's that indication that something, the, 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 the training is not good in the home? I would say because children are getting children and they are not, you know, they are not trained. So like when they get their children, they just, it goes down the line the lack of disrespect and what's that they are not trained, so it just keeps going passing on to generation to generation. Can I add to it? Yeah. Okay, I feel that, I know children are taught to listen to their parents, but especially high school is a very social part in your life. You want to fit in. That's the time where you want to make your small group of friends a little network. Um, and you think that that's, that's it. After high school, you think that they're going to be your friends for the rest of your life. And that's where most of the influence comes from. 
So they stick in their little groups and whatever that group says. More than likely, that group might have one or two leaders. Um, and that's where everything goes. All the parents train and go out the window because they want to fit into that group. And even if you're outside the group looking in, some want to be a part of that group, so they will try to fit in wherever they can. So the peer pressure in the, in the school is institutionalized, whereas the peer pressure at home is just at home, one person talking when in school they got like a system of peer pressure. Yeah, it's a system. It's a system of peer yes. pressure. That's, 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 that's an interesting point. And it's easier to gravitate to the stuff that are not becoming that would not make you a success and master. It's easier to gravitate to those kind of stuff than to gravitate it's, towards it's the stuff that do, uh, do bad, bad than to do good. Simply, yes. The, 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 the society is making the bad seem good and so it makes it easier. Yes, we're living in a world where the wrong, it, the right. wrong seems right and the right seems wrong. Most uh, definitely. Okay, cool. So, what's your inspiration? Where you get, where you get all this inspiration from and where you are so grounded in the things that you believe in, the courage to do the things that you're doing? Then you, where you go first, I'm sure my cousin, yeah, I was going first. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to say from my grandparents. Mm -hmm. I was raised by my grandparents and they instilled discipline in me, discipline, knowledge, and skill. And I have them to thank for doing it. Okay, what about you, your hands? Um, I'm a person that has different, different influences for different things that I'm a part of. But I have to say, in general, my mom is my biggest inspiration because she took the time, like we were in a single parent home. I, wasn't, I wouldn't say that my father wasn't there, but he, didn't, he wasn't around us as much. So my mom basically raised me and my sister from birth. Yes. <laughs> and it's like, she was, I was there, she didn't give up, so anything I put forth, I would not give up because I've seen how my mom struggles, so everything I'm in or anything I'm a part of, I do it because of her. And you heard the questions I asked the young ladies, and <laughs> of course, so yeah, I don't know the answers, yeah. but probably you're celebrating. Yeah, right. Emancipation Festival, yes. Yeah. But um, you, 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 you notice that uh, do, do, you, do you think that as a people, as a people of African descent, that we strive to be uh, people of European descent? <laughs> okay. Um, you, 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 you understand what I'm asking you? That yeah. as people of African descent, we gravitate towards wanting to be more European than we want to be African. Do you, do, you, do you believe that? Or you don't, you don't I, truly, I truly disagree. Okay. I know some people in the community would say, that would argue that you know, some of the girls get their weave done, the straight hair, all of that. That comes from the European descent. Mm -hmm. They don't like the coarse hair. Some bleaching their skin because they want to look lighter. Mm -hmm. But it's all about personal preference. And I feel that we, as our African American, well, African descent, mm -hmm. we are the most powerful beings on the planet. The, think about it, the slave trade couldn't be started without us. Well, I don't know how good a thing that is, but... I, I mean, I, I, I they, need, they needed us. I, they I, needed I, us. You, you, you mean, you mean, <laughs> they started it with the Indians at first, and that failed, so... <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, let, let, let me fix this up for you. <laughs> <laughs> let me fix this up for you. You mean that we are so strong, strong that we were able to bear the burden? Not that it was correct and it was good. It wasn't correct. I'm not saying that, it was correct. It, it's just that... Mm -hmm. We, it, it just showed that if you want to take something positive from it, it showed that we were the stronger beings. We were the stronger beings. Uh, good. Let me yes. fix that. Fix that for you. Yeah. <laughs> take your catch of it. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think, um, uh, Shemoy? I um, think. Are we striving to be more uh, Americanized? Yeah. Not Americanized. Just to be more European. European. Wait, you know, let's bring it down to the, to the common denominator. Uh, we try to be more white than black. Yes, I would, I would have to agree with that. You have to agree with that. And, um, and vice versa, because you would look into music videos and master, and you would see people, the Caucasian people, they want to tend to gravitate towards being black, and we would like to gravitate towards isn't being that white. Isn't that interesting? Very, <laughs> in terms of the like lips and what's not so over. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> In terms of the lips, you know, we tend to have 
bigger lips yeah. and the women females would have bigger booties <laughs> what and, and you know more yes yes more and more curvy yes more yes, more yes. Yeah. and you would see them going to do plastic surgeries to look like us and we're now going to do alterations to look more like them yeah so yes i do agree with the statement that you made and you, 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 where do you think that comes from TV, television. Television. I think most definitely that comes from television. All right, so we're going to leave it there. Mm. So, so before we <laughs> make an argument, <laughs> I mean, you're not arguing. We're going to turn you in a clap. <laughs> yeah, right. But, you know, I just wanted to get a sense of uh, um, that you guys and, you know, and your, your, your views on, on, on certain things. And it was really good talking to you. So before we go, I'd like you to make your pitch that you didn't make in the beginning. <laughs> Right, okay. encourage people to come out, introduce yourselves, and encourage people to come out and view the, sh view the, uh, the, the show. You go first. <laughs> Culture, glamour, and intelligence are the epitome of what a junior ambassador of the British Virgin Islands should have. JTV viewers, whether streaming online or at home watching, Good evening. I am 21-year-old Johansi Smith, a proud candidate for the Mr. Junior British Virgin Islands title 2017. As the sun sets on July 29th, I expect to see each and every one of you at the Surupa Brackliff Hall, 8 p.m. sharp. You are ready to the time, place, and date, so don't be late. Okay, what about you, Shamoy? <laughs> Good evening, BVI. I am Darren Shamoy Davis, your contestant number two vying for the prestigious title of Mr. Junior BVI 2017. So come on out on Saturday, July 29th, 8 p.m. sharp at the Sir Rupert Brightleaf Hall and allow me, Shamoy Davis, to assuage all fears, remove all doubts, and show you why I am meant to be your next Mr. Junior BVI. Thank you. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was good to have you. Nice, nice yeah. little chat. Ah, the best. Best of luck. <laughs> Thank you. Uh -huh. Yes, man. We're going to take a break for a word from our sponsors, and we're coming back with um, teacher, actress, producer, director, Janice George Harris, and actress Kimberly Cordes, I think, uh, called Cords. I have to get that correct, correct pronunciation. Uh, contestant number two for the first ever Mr. and Miss Improv Night. Uh, we're going to talk about acting, drama, improvisation that's coming up uh, this weekend. Keep it locked right here in Spotlight. Maybe you'll get a little taste of what that's going to be. Just to get some improv going. We'll be right back after these words from our sponsors. Spotlight is brought to you by CCTBVI, Life Unlimited, and the National Bank of the Virgin Islands, the official bank of paradise. Systems may be assist you. Feel comfortable knowing that if you have a problem on the road at any time, Magico Roadside Assistance is at your service. Available seven days a week, 365 days a year across the whole island of Tortola. Just dial 346 4357 and we will be there ready to assist getting you back on the road. Whether it's a dead battery, flat tyre, low gas, or even if you've locked yourself out of the vehicle, we'll be there to get you on the road again. For further information, call Nagico Insurances at 284 494 6433. Things like picking her up from school may seem small to you, but means the world to her. Real men love. He's always been there, from his first step to his jump shot. And he'll do his best to always be there. Real men support. A daddy isn't defined as a man who makes the child, but rather a man who extends his hand and time to raise his child. Real men care. The relationship between a dad and daughter is very simple. She will love her father and trust him completely, forever. Because he sets the standard for any man to love her after. Real men spend time. We can help prevent child abuse and neglect by strengthening families and communities. 
This message is brought to you by the Social Development Department.